slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time. So let's get to it. I've got aces. And after this guy raises to 30 over a straddle and I raise to 125, this other guy raises to 400. And after that first guy wince folds pocket queens. <laughs> queens. I consider folding, but then take a good gander at this guy, sussing out whether he's hashtag sometimes fold. I take a deep breath, take a good hard look, and say goodbye. Or hashtag never fold. This motherfucker has aces, man. I know for a fact this motherfucker has aces, right? I don't care. We're not folding kings. We are not folding kings. Never. Never. We get it in and we fucking lose. Real men. Real men lose with kings against aces, man. Every time. Okay? Okay. Now you know. That's how it works, man. An important lesson. You got kings, the other guy has aces, you lose. That's how it works, man. Nobody's fucking folding kings. Never. And sure enough, he does look like a real man. So I put that real manhood to the test. All in. I know. You're thinking, aces v kings, all in preflop, big whoop. And you'd be right. Still, please don't use that voice. But here's the thing. This isn't just one lucky first hand in just some poker game. It's a harbinger of the most magical poker game I've ever played. Picture this. I'm in Las Vegas for the World Series of Poker. And while I sure as f can't win a tournament. I call. <laughs> At the cash games? Well, that's a different story. A story that starts with a spark. It was just last night where every poker hand I played was a nightmare. Like a delightful all-in on the turn as a 96% favorite. Ooh. Or calling a 4-bet jam from someone known for doing that with anything. But this time it was something. Ooh. But one hand in particular, one truly stupid hand, lit the match. I raise with Ace-10 and the poker meme lord known as... Not only calls, but narrates. Heads up, full flop. Greg's being tipped insane right now. You bet I'm raising 30. So I re-raise, leaving under pot behind. So he'd have to be a moron to even consider chasing his... Was it 120? 120. Uh, I call. Bing, bing, bing. Thank you. All in. Such a donkey. He clearly caught what he was chasing. And while that's terrible poker, it's also terrible for me to call. But I will. Because if I win, great. If Greg wins, that whole pot is blood money. And he does hold. Mm. And had we run it twice, we would have chopped. But the curse is on. Sure, Greg may be all smiles now. But while I spend the rest of my time in Vegas sun running on a multi-day heater, Greg spends the rest of his trip on a miserable downswing. Greg f***s himself. That's right. Turns out, Greg sprinkled me with poker fairy dust. Unlocking no limit magic. Magic that begins now. I've got Ace King, and after he raises to 20, and he calls, and he calls, out of nowhere, there's a decree from on high. Thou shalt squeeze. Okay, I mean, I was gonna do that anyway, but thanks, I guess. So yeah, I squeeze to 125, which should thin the field. No worries. Because during a normal poker game, on a normal day, against 12 opponents, the flop is 987 all diamonds. But today is poker Passover. This poker game is different from all other poker games. At this poker game, I flop top two pair. I bet they fold. And a sea of chips flood my way. All thanks to the poker miracle of actually flopping well with Ace King. I've got aces, and after a raise, I raise more, and big blind, cold calls. After this flop, I bet 60, and he immediately raises to 225. The nerds at Red Chip Poker recommend raising yet again and reevaluating, but I live in abject fear of cold called pocket tens, so instead, I just call. After this turn, I check. He bets a relatively small 200, and I call again. And this river is two kinds of all. Full, because now I lose to even more hands, and some, because I've got the ace of diamonds. So even if he does have a set, I don't give a fuck. Cause I'll check shove on him so hard he'll rue the day he ever crossed slope. Oh, he checks, I win. And he shows pocket kings. What? You're not raising with those preflop, buddy. Listen to the songs that I sing and trust me. While you got the nuts, raise it. Pocket kings, raise it. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even bother writing, producing, singing, and I f***ing you with these bangers. I mean, I guess that way is a way to play kings, and I shouldn't be so critical. After all, instead of giving me all your chips, you just gave me most of them. Regardless, we now know two irrefutable facts. Your kings lost to aces, and pursuant to constitutional law, Real men lose with kings against aces, man. You have a c I've got a hand that could be out of order. You don't know what out of order is, Mr. Jack. King off. Nonetheless, I raise the 30 over a straddle and get called by the small blind and this person who does not have a c 
Who is this penisless poker player? Why, that would be C, 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 C. That's a lot of C's. <laughs> Indonesia, please. I'm just getting warmed up. After this flop and a CC's, I see bet and get seed by CCCCC. This turn sees a CC, and after the CCC, CCCCC bets a C of C. Oh, she is such a C. No, not that C word. That C word. C, you guys. Real C. Anyway, C me C. Cause while CCCCC may have a CC, a CC, and a CC of CC's, you know what she C have? A CC. I see. I see. I raise to CCL, she CCs, and C Cs. And here's my C, seeing the C of C's Cs. That's like 12 too many C jokes. Who did you see at the World Series of Poker? Oh, everyone. I mean, some people were just a goddamn waste of time. But I did get to hang with Phil Hellmuth and Jungle Man mere moments before their softcore porn reboot of The Greatest Showman. And I had a blast playing the 1K tag team with Veronica Corningstone. But my favorite interaction was with crypto multimillionaire Wesley, who's famous for that sick $1.5 million bluff. So sick. And after I told Wesley about my comparably sick $1.500 bluff at my home game, that was also an infinitesimal fraction of my net worth and therefore almost meaningless, he was all, Did we just become best friends? Yup. I've got queens raised to 15, and this guy raises to 50. His name is Gary, and he's been coming after me because someone told him that I'm a content creator. And this guy's old school, just despises anything new, like cameras on phones and modern medicine. And look, I get it. Some think people like me are good for the game. Others think we're poker bile. Gary sits squarely in the bile camp. Anyway, normally I'd raise again with queens. Instead, I decide to just call and see what happens. You know, for the content. After this flop, he bets 30 and I call. After this turn, he bets 80 and I call. And after this river, he bets 200. And while I can't beat pocket aces, pocket kings, or pocket jacks, I can beat pocket irrational disgust of anything that deviates from that old way I used to do stuff. And I put him on that. Hey, Gary, look, you're in my show. Now you're forever memorialized in content. Be honest, Gary, how do you feel? <laughs> I've got kings. He raises, he calls, I raise more, he raises more, and while on a different day I might throw in the towel, I folded kings. Today I don't even have a towel because I left it in the hotel room because hotel towels are hotel property. I'm not a monster. I am, however. All in. Yeah, nice try, DK. Ship not happening today. I may not have a towel, but I've got my man pants. Real men! Real men! I've got Ace Jack, and after he raises to 20, I raise to 60, and he calls. After this flop, I bet, and he calls. And after this turn, I bet again, and he goes all in. I don't understand. No, really, I don't. Is this a slow played flopped set? Maybe. But I really don't think it is. And for me, when a shove doesn't add up, I call. And he shows, pocket nines? Why shove turn? I can understand one of those see where I'm at raises on the flop, but you're shoving now after an overcard turns up? Why then? Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me you're not just a fish, but a fish who doesn't know his Dr. Seuss. You raise nines as well you should. And on this flop, you might be good, but by this turn, your hand's demoted. So listen close. I'll speak full-throated. One pair, low pair, worse pair, Dead pair. Your equity just may be threadbare. Dad, what happened to the fish? Oh, the fish is dead. <laughs> oh, he had nines. Oh, that's it? No more winning? Oh, well, I guess the poker magic's done. We're done when I say we're done.